all right youtube this is detroit's hp tv coming at you with another one man as soon as you try to sit down something else come up guess what we got going on now now you know they said you had the city girl politicians fanny willis down in atlanta tiffany henyard over there in dalton county and then the one that looked like rise off night court in louisiana this one right here let me show you this one right here i can't remember her name she in out of new orleans but she looks like rise from night court this one right here what is her name can y'all see her what is her name she got caught paying her lover Allegedly. Here go the other one. Tiffany Henyard. She messing with funds. And we can't forget. We can't forget young Fanny. This one here. Young Fanny okay so they've been having a hot girl summer hot girl politics or whatever but guess who next on the list of city girls that the democrats are turning on none other than cory bush department of justice got her on the investigation what's going on with these sisters y'all get a job and start tricking Say it ain't so. Say y'all don't get a job and get the city money and the county money and start tricking. It's done went all the way up to Congress with Cori Bush. Let's let's find out what Cori Bush did and who she tricking with. Allegedly. This for fair usage under the 1976 Copyright Act for commentary and educational purposes. What's up with these sisters when they get a job? white folks don't play fair uses of the 1976 copyright act got some breaking news representative cory bush is under federal investigation for alleged misuse of security funds punchbowl news reports that the doj has subpoenaed the house sergeant at arms for documents relating to their investigation now according to the new york times bush hired her romantic partner who is now her husband to provide her with security services according to previous reporting by fox news wow i guess uh those type of jobs come with all kind of benefits other than money you get cakes, you get the clap cakes, or what they call it, clap the cheeks, and get the extra money and all of that with that government money. Come on, sisters. Y'all think them y'all think them people be playing with y'all when y'all be messing with their money? Y'all really think you they like y'all, don't you? Don't you, Corey Bush, Fanny Willis, Tiffany Henry, and Roz. Let's look. Bush's now husband has been paid more than $100,000 from her payroll since January 2022. These were marked as security payments and wage expenses. So this is interesting. Yeah. So the New York Times uh, reported that the uh, Office of Congressional Ethics already investigated Ms. Ms. Uh, Cory Bush last year. The office voted to dismiss the allegations after concluding that her now husband, Courtney Merritt, had performed bona fide security work and did not appear to have been overpaid and that Ms. Bush faced a level of threats that justified the work. Now it seems that the Justice Par Department is doing an additional investigation and it's not clear of whether or not it's broader than the uh, Office of Congressional Ethics investigation that already validated this expenditure, uh, but we'll see. Yeah, to some degree it reminds me a little little bit of the Fonnie Willis um, situation with the Georgia DA, um, you know, being alleged that there could be something improper here, someone who you're in a romantic relationship with receiving funds inappropriately. Now, uh, you, you raised this when we started talking about it, it seems like she might have 
they, they've recently gotten married. Yeah, just um, last year. So it's not, I don't actually know the timeline here. Did she fall in love with her security, a la the movie Bodyguard, right. or did she give a security job to uh, yeah. her, uh, someone she's But as soon as you're in a romantic in, relationship with the person, they should not be Although in I think the, the difference with the Funny Willis situation seems to be primarily, are you getting, are you, were you hired because you're qualified for the job? You know, did her husband do security? And is he being or now husband? If you've been injured in a car accident, don't call an attorney. Use this AI app instead. That's what I did. And it's how I got this $100,000 check in less than 30. So the DOJ has subpoenaed the house sergeant at arms for documents relating to. Okay, this is the one I was talking about that looked like wise. She's out of New Orleans. Check her out. That drives the economy of this city and of the state of Louisiana. And I will continue even to work with partner organizations like New Orleans Company, for example, that I spoke to uh, one of the directors actually just yesterday. They say she was paying her man and security and, you know, getting her uh, P. Diddy on too. You know what I'm saying? These politicians are getting their P. Diddy on with, on the state. Let's finish with Corey Bush. Investigation. Now, according to the New York Times, Bush hired her romantic partner, who is now her husband, to provide her with security services. According to previous reporting by Fox News, Bush's now husband has been paid more than $100,000 from her payroll since January 2022. These were marked as security payments and wage expenses. So this no, no, is interesting. Yeah. Go ahead. So the New York Times uh, reported that the uh, Office of Congressional Ethics already investigated Ms. Ms. Uh, Cori Bush last year. The office voted to dismiss the allegations after concluding that her now husband, Courtney Merritt, had performed bona fide security work and did not appear to have been overpaid and that Ms. Bush faced a level of threats that justified the work. Now it seems that the Justice Par Department is doing an additional investigation and it's not clear of whether or not it's broader than the uh, Office of Congressional Ethics investigation that already validated this expenditure, uh, but we'll see. Yeah, to some degree it reminds me a little bit of the Fonnie Willis um, situation with the Georgia DA, um, you know, being alleged that there could be something improper here, someone who you're in a romantic relationship with receiving funds inappropriately. Now, uh, you, you raised this when we started talking about it. It seems like she might have, they, they've recently gotten married. Yeah, just um, last year. So it's not, I don't actually know the timeline here. Did she fall in love with her security, a la the movie Bodyguard, right. or did she give a security job to uh, yeah. her, uh, someone she's But as soon as you're in a romantic in. relationship with the person, they should not be Although in I think the, the difference with the Funny Willis situation seems to be primarily, are you getting, are you, were you hired because you're qualified for the job? You know, did her husband do security? And is he being, or now husband do security and was hired for security purposes uh, versus Fonnie Willis where the accusations If he her man, he get paid to he get paid to secure and take care of it. That's her man. Come on, y'all. Y'all sisters got to be do better than this. Y'all always talking about the brothers. Are not just that he was hired, sure. but then that he paid for all of these trips and stuff um, that amounted to a kind of a kickback scheme. Um, so it's worth investigating. It is. It, it does seem interesting to me that. Apparently, there was some interest in the Congressional Ethics Office looking into seeing if this was okay. And what does it mean for Cori Bush if she already basically got the go-ahead from the Congressional but, uh, Ethics Office only to have um, prosecutors follow up in this way? Well, many um, conservatives are have, and they did when this first became an issue during that probe or during that look, that ethical look at from Congress, um, have you know, pointing to a kind of hypocrisy here in their view because she was very outspoken on the whole defund the police thing and to be paying um, so much money. She's actually, at the chart I'm looking at, um, spent more than any other member of Congress. I, well, I think that was in the New York Times report. Uh, the chart I'm looking at actually has her one of the highest, but that's from 2021. I think the New York Times said she was spent more on personal security than any other representative uh, in the last year. Um, yeah, there was reporting in the near.
Well, I guess if, you know, if he clapping cheeks, he should get paid more than anybody else. What y'all think out there? I mean, like Fannie Willis, she gave her, she gave hers, uh, what, 650000 you know what I mean? And Louisiana, when she messed up the budget, and Tiffany Henyard, you know? I mean, you know they say it's, it's not tricking if you got it. It's not tricking if you got it. Times uh, at some point last year that talked about how there had been agitation for larger congressional budgets for security, in large part because of increased security threats after um, uh, January 6th. Also, there was the attack on Nancy Pelosi's husband that happened last year. Um, and going back further, farther, there are obviously any number of attacks that have happened on Congress. There's members. been doxings happening lately. Marjorie Taylor Greene was doxed. I think a Democrat was doxed as well. Um, Henry Cuellar was carjacked. Um, <laughs> about like a block from where i live in the city yeah so good. i what they say in paid in full ninjas get smoked every day beat that don't mean you get to get be tricky i would argue that um the the quest to defund the police has to do with the police targeting and abusing and violating the civil liberties of um, disproportionately poor and working class people in the United States of America. And that is a basic civil liberties um, argument that anyone should want to adopt that has nothing to do with whether or not you have a credible threat against you because they're one of the most high profile uh, and famous politicians, people in the United States of America. And in the con Congressional Ethics Office's investigation, I think it's important that one of the things that they weighed was whether or not there are in fact credible threats. If nobody's threatening you and you're spending you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars a year in security, that obviously seems like an ethical violation in a way it doesn't. If you are being credibly threatened and you have real cause to have security, that's a, that's a well, little bit Well, but if you're different. paying it, again, as a kickback to your boyfriend or lover or something, that could be unethical depending on whether the funds were. I'm sure you get the picture because it says Corey Bush under the Department of Justice investigation for alleged misuse of security funds. City girls. Sign it to you out of Detroit. Keep your head on the swivel. Remember. It's not tricking if you got it, but you don't got it if it comes from the taxpayer's money. Remember that. Peace.